After a tragedy eradicates the X-Men, Wolverine must protect Professor Xavier and a young mutant while his body is destroyed by adamantium. Today we're going to recap the story of the movie, Logan, from 2017. On a highway in the middle of Texas, a gang starts stealing parts from a limousine stop there. What none of them know yet is that inside the vehicle is Wolverine. The aging mutant was trying to sleep, but when he heard the criminals stealing his car, he got out and politely asked them to leave. However, in response, the gang leader fires a shot at Logan from close range, knocking him to the ground. However, thanks to the adamantium in his body and his healing powers, the mutant gets up and decides to resolve the situation in another way. Unfortunately, his health is no longer the same and even his claws are slower than before. The gang wastes no time in attacking Logan with kicks and sledgehammers, giving the old mutant no chance to defend himself. One of them pulls out a gun, but Logan is more concerned about his car and stands in front of the firing line so as not to damage it. Finally, the group continues to attack him, until he falls to the ground and the gang leader decides to finish him off with his shotgun. At that moment, the mutant is filled with fury and with just one swipe of his claws, he removes the bandit's arm. The problem is that this arm was holding the shotgun, which fires a shot at the limousine. For Logan, this is the last straw and with a sequence of furious blows, he finishes off the thieves and forces the remaining ones to flee. After this confrontation, Logan stops in a public restroom to heal his wounds. As he feared, his healing factor is also weakened and his wounds are taking longer and longer to heal, due to the poisoning caused by the adamantium. Even so, the mutant continues his work as a private driver. The next day, while accompanying a family to a funeral, an unknown woman calls for his help and says she knows who he is. But Logan just ignores her and drives off. Hours later, he arrives at a hospital to pick up some medicine, but when he gets back to his car, a passenger called Pierce gets in and says he knows a lot about the mutant. He reveals his cyborg arm and says he's from the Transigen organization, which experiments on mutants. The reason he's there is that he needs the old mutant's help to locate a girl who has escaped from the lab, but Logan refuses and tells him to leave. Hours after this encounter, he arrives at his hideout, an abandoned power station. There, he lives with Caliban, who has the power to locate other mutants, and his former mentor, Professor Xavier. However, Xavier has been suffering from dementia for years and Logan needs to medicate him periodically. He goes to the tank where the professor is hiding to inject the medicine, but Xavier resists and falls out of his wheelchair. At that moment, the professor has a strong seizure, which generates telepathic disturbances that affect everyone around him. Logan feels the effects of these disturbances, but with great effort, he injects the medicine and Xavier returns to normal. Hours later, Caliban talks to Logan about the need to increase the dose of the drug, he also tells him that he has found an adamantium bullet and scolds him for thinking of taking his own life, but Logan gets angry and decides to go back to work. During one of his trips, he receives a call at a hotel and there he meets Gabriella, the same woman who asked for his help at the cemetery. She is injured and says she needs to get to North Dakota, on the border with Canada, together with her adopted daughter, a girl called Laura. Logan refuses to help, but Gabriella offers him a large sum for the job. Seeing that this could be his chance to have a better life with Charles and Caliban, Logan accepts and promises to pick her up the next morning. Unfortunately, on returning to the hotel, Logan finds Gabriella already lifeless and no sign of Laura. He takes the woman's cell phone and quickly returns to his hiding place in the power plant. He hurries to get his companions away, but Caliban sees a ball and a child's backpack in the trunk of the limo. He asks Logan who they belong to, but before they can talk about it, a car pulls up and Pierce emerges from inside. The guy tries to intimidate Logan into revealing where Gabriella's daughter is, but he says he doesn't know about the girl. The conversation between the two becomes increasingly tense, until suddenly an iron pipe hits Pierce in the head and he falls unconscious. Another pipe is thrown at Logan, who manages to defend himself and sees that it was Laura who threw it, hiding in the trunk. The old mutant treats the girl with hostility, but Professor Xavier appears and says that they need to take care of her. While Logan is trying to resolve the situation, he asks Caliban to take Pierce away and get rid of him. The mutant obeys, but just as he was about to throw the cyborg into the desert, the guy wakes up and his reinforcements appear behind him. Shortly afterwards, Logan sees several cars approaching the plant and sets off to get Xavier, while leaving Laura at the site. However, Pierce's reinforcements surround the site and there is no escape. With no other choice, Logan sets out to attack him, but is easily stopped by Pierce's men, mercenaries known as the Reavers. He then sends some of them to the plant to capture the girl, who continues to eat cereal on the table. Soon, she finds herself surrounded by the Reavers, but seconds later, screams of agony are heard by everyone outside the plant. 
Pierce fears the worst has happened and his suspicions are confirmed when Laura leaves the plant, carrying the head of one of the mercenaries. Seeing this, Pierce and his men try to calm the girl down, but she soon reveals that she has adamantium claws, just like Wolverine. Without hesitation, the girl leaps towards her enemies and tears their arms, legs and necks with ease. Even so, Pierce's army is numerous and the girl is forced to flee. She runs to the other side of the plant, but one of the mercenaries attacks her by surprise. Laura manages to escape and finishes off the man, but Pierce fires a harpoon into the girl's body and pulls her towards him. To his misfortune, Logan enters the fray and attacks the mercenaries to help Laura. He attacks them with ferocity, but two of them grab the girl and take her to the car. At that moment, Laura reveals that she has adamantium claws on her feet and she finishes off her pursuers with a series of kicks. Nearby, Logan takes care of the rest of the group he was facing, but sees other mercenaries heading towards the car where Xavier is. The old mutant rushes to save his mentor and, after finishing off his enemies, he speeds off with the car and rescues Laura on the way. With the two of them in the car, Logan speeds towards a fence, but the car gets stuck in it. He is then forced to reverse and pulls the fence along with him, which ends up serving as an improvised weapon to eliminate the mercenaries trying to stop him. Finally, they manage to get out of the plant and head for the countryside, but the chase isn't over yet. Pierce returns to hunt down the group and brings even more reinforcements along with him. Logan drives at high speed and sees that a train is coming down the track right in front of him. Despite this, he continues to accelerate and Pierce's men are on his tail with cars and motorcycles. Laura manages to put an end to the mercenaries approaching the vehicle, only for more of them to catch up. Then, in a risky maneuver, Logan runs across the tracks, seconds before the train passes, and crosses unharmed, while Pierce watches his target flee, helpless. The villain, however, still has one card up his sleeve, Caliban. He takes him back to the plant and threatens the mutant with sunlight, his only weakness, so that he can locate the girl. In the meantime, Logan and Xavier stop on the road and watch a recording on Gabriella's cell phone. In it, the two find out about Transigen's experiments, led by Dr. Xander Rice, who used children to mix human DNA with the genes of powerful mutants. In fact, Laura was one of the victims and received the genetic code from Logan himself, collected after his experiments with Weapon X. Finally, the recording shows that Gabriella freed the children and so she intended to take them to a safe place on the other side of the border, known as Eden. Aware of these terrible experiments, Xavier insists that Logan help the girl, so the group goes on a trip and rests in a hotel. Laura and the professor spend their time watching movies in the room and Logan goes off in search of a new car, but first he sees some X-Men comic books among the girl's things. Although he says the magazines are pure fiction, he decides to take them with him. While waiting for the paperwork to arrive in the car, Logan goes to a bar and starts flipping through the pages of the comic, until in one of them, he sees the X-Men arrive at a place called Eden. Upon reading this, Logan becomes enraged when he realizes that this safe place was nothing more than fiction and returns to the hotel. However, when he gets there, he finds several of Pierce's men surrounding the place and tries to enter discreetly. But the situation worsens when he and everyone around him feel a psychic disturbance, indicating that Xavier has suffered yet another seizure. This time, it was caused by Pierce's men, who tried to capture him in the hotel room with Laura. Despite the excruciating pain in his mind, Logan sets off as fast as he can to the room. On the way, he encounters the mercenaries, frozen by Xavier's power, and takes the opportunity to eliminate them, one after the other, with his claws. After eliminating everyone, he tries to reach Xavier and finds Laura, who can't get up. Even so, she takes the syringe with the medicine and hands it to Logan, who finally injects the professor. Thanks to this, everything returns to normal, but the group needs to get out of there as quickly as possible. Logan, Xavier and Laura manage to get out of the hotel, as everyone around them, including Pierce and the Reavers, are still shaken by the professor's power and head off down the road. Halfway there, Logan loses control of the car because of a truck, causing an accident with a farmer's truck. Fortunately, no one is hurt, but the horses in the truck get loose and become agitated. Xavier decides to help and uses his telepathic powers to calm the animals. Soon afterwards, Logan helps the farmer, called Will, move his truck off the road. As a thank you, Will and his family invite them to spend the night on their farm and, even though Logan is reluctant, Xavier accepts. When it's time for dinner, everyone has a pleasant evening, but then the water supply runs out and Will has to fix the plumbing on the neighboring land. Logan decides to help him and the two go together to fix the pipe, which is on private property. They both finish the job, but the owner of the property arrives a few minutes later, along with his henchmen, and threatens them with a shotgun. 
In response, Logan attacks the man with his own gun and tells everyone to get out of there. With the problem solved, the two head back to the farm, unaware that an unknown man has broken into the house during the night. He goes to Xavier's room, where Laura is also resting. The professor believes it is Logan who is there and says he has had the best day of his life since the tragedy he caused with his power, resulting in the elimination of the X-Men. Unfortunately, it wasn't Logan who was there, but a clone called X-24 who, without hesitation, pierced Xavier's heart with his claws. Seeing this, Laura leaps towards the mutant and attacks him again and again, but the clone has Wolverine's resistance at its peak and throws the girl away. Laura's screams wake up the farmer's son and he tries to protect her with a baseball bat, but Logan's clone pierces him with his adamantium. The boy's mother then appears and fires her shotgun at the intruder, but the shot has no effect and she too is eliminated. Seconds later, Logan and Will return to the farm and hear the screams. The farmer runs to help his family, but he's too late and is also attacked by the intruder. Logan rushes over to help Will, but when he sees his clone, he has no reaction. The villain trapped Laura and takes her away, but Logan fears for Xavier and runs to his room. Unfortunately, he finds the professor fatally wounded and takes him away. Meanwhile, the clone heads for a van, where Dr. Xander Rice is waiting for him, along with Pierce. They are joined by Caliban, who has been forced to use his power to locate the girl for the doctor. With her captured, the group prepares to leave, at which point the owner of the property appears, along with his henchmen, to make amends with the farmer. To their misfortune, they are met by the clone X-24, whose two claws slash into the guy's neck, removing his head. He then sets out to attack the rest of the group with extreme force and the real Logan seizes the chance to take Xavier to his car. Desperate, Logan tries to stop the professor's bleeding, but he can't resist and perishes in front of the one he considered his son. Nearby, Dr. Xander orders X-24 to stop attacking and return to the van. At the same time, Caliban takes advantage of Pierce being distracted, grabs two grenades from inside the car and blows himself up with them, but his sacrifice is useless, as the villain escapes at the last second. The explosion also hits Dr. Xander, prompting X-24 to go to him to help. However, Logan appears before him and takes out all his fury on the one who took Xavier's life. Even so, his clone is stronger and more agile and strikes back, leaving Logan covered in blood. The clone then prepares to deliver the final blow, but suddenly a car hits him and pushes him into the clutches of a tractor. From inside the car appears Will, who, despite being wounded, pulls out a shotgun and fires at the mutant who eliminated his family. After finishing him off, he sets out to attack Logan, but his gun is out of bullets and the farmer can't resist and falls to the ground. In the face of all this tragedy, Logan loads Laura into his car and drives away, along with Xavier's body. Unfortunately, the next morning, Dr. Xander summons his team to the scene and injects the X-24 clone with a substance that makes him recover more quickly from his injuries. Meanwhile, Logan parks in a forest and is forced to bury Professor Xavier. Laura tries to comfort him, but Logan rejects her and tries to leave without her. However, the car stops working, which only serves to make the old mutant even angrier. He takes his hatred and sadness out on the car, but his body is so badly injured that he collapses in the middle of the road. Laura then takes the car of a guy nearby and drives Logan to a hospital. Minutes later, he is woken up by a doctor, who tells the mutant that his body needs treatment. However, Logan doesn't want any more people to be eliminated because of him and decides to leave, along with Laura. The two arrive in the car and the old mutant thanks the girl for saving his life. To his surprise, Laura, who had kept quiet since the beginning of the trip, finally answers him. Logan is furious that the girl hasn't said anything yet, but Laura simply replies that she needs to get to North Dakota to find her mutant friends. Logan insists that there is no such place, but the girl is persistent and the old mutant is forced to take her there. During the journey, Logan falls asleep from the blood he lost in the fight, so Laura forces him to rest and takes his place at the wheel. Hours later, they arrive at a hideout above the mountains and Logan is pulled to the top by an elevator. He wakes up for a moment and finds the young mutants Laura talked about, but passes out soon after. The kids tend to his wounds and the leader of the group, Richter, injects Logan with the same serum that Dr. Xander used on X-24 to cure him. Later, he wakes up with a nightmare, but Laura tries to calm him down. She also says she found the adamantium bullet in his clothes, but warns him that, at Xavier's request, she won't let Logan take his own life. After this conversation, the two sleep through the night, unaware that a drone sent by Dr. Xander is flying over the hideout. Two days pass and Logan finally wakes up, after a prank by the kids, who shaved his beard while he slept. The old mutant doesn't like the prank and goes in search of Richter to warn him that Dr. Xander will continue to hunt down the young mutants. 
The boy says that they will all be crossing the border soon and takes the opportunity to hand over the money promised to Logan for bringing Laura. However, the mutant refuses, as he no longer needs the money and warns him that when the group leaves, he will go another way. This decision infuriates Laura, who has become attached to the old mutant. When night falls, she shows her disgust to Logan, but he says he's afraid that, like Xavier, Caliban and his friends, Laura will be in danger if he's around. The next day, Logan wakes up alone in the hideout and finds a bottle of the serum, left by the kids for him to treat his wounds. However, as he leaves the hideout, he sees Dr. Xander's drones passing through the sky and, along with them, several cars heading towards the young mutants. Logan immediately grabs the vial of serum and runs into the forest to save Laura and her friends. However, the kids are already being pursued by Xander, Pierce and their army of mercenaries. Logan becomes desperate when he hears the children's cries and runs as far as he can through the forest, but his health is still deteriorating. So he injects himself with the entire vial of serum and regains his vitality. Meanwhile, the mutant children run for their lives, but one by one, they are captured by Pierce's men. One of the mutants tries to defend herself with her power and uses the elements of nature to put an end to the mercenaries. However, one of them manages to trap her, but Laura appears shortly afterwards and eliminates him with her adamantium claws. The girl prepares to help her friends, until, in the distance, she hears a very familiar roar of fury. It belongs to Wolverine, who rushes after the Reavers and destroys them with his hateful attacks. He continues running in search of the kids, but Pierce manages to capture Richter, while Laura is surrounded by the heavily armed mercenaries. The girl is left with no way out, but Logan shows up to help her. The two work as a team and use their shared skills to take down their enemies, one after the other. Both manage to eliminate the group of mercenaries, but Logan feels that his strength and endurance have diminished due to the serum wearing off. Even so, he calls the girl to go after his friends, who have been captured by Dr. Xander and Pierce. Logan asks Laura to wait in hiding for his signal and goes alone to meet his enemies. Upon seeing the old mutant, Dr. Xander reveals that he is the son of scientist Dale Rice, one of those responsible for putting the adamantium in Wolverine's skeleton. The doctor tries to make a deal with Logan for Laura's life, but the mutant responds by shooting him in the throat. The scientist falls lifeless to the ground and Logan fires at Pierce, hitting his metal arm. This was the signal Laura had been waiting for and she set off to attack the remaining mercenaries and free her friends. Finally, Logan sets out to finish off Pierce, but the villain opens the gate of one of the trucks and releases the fearsome clone, X-24. Even without strength and seriously wounded, Logan stands up to his rival to protect the children. Even so, the clone manages to strike him easily with his blades and throws him against the door of the truck. Still, Logan makes one last effort and uses the door to knock X-24 out and pin him to the ground. However, seeing Dr. Xander lifeless, the clone becomes enraged, saws the door with his adamantium and throws Logan away. The clone lunges fiercely towards Logan but Laura jumps on top of the villain and attacks him with the claws of her hands and feet without stopping. Logan tries to help the girl, but Pierce fires a harpoon at him and leaves the mutant's leg trapped. Pierce seizes the chance to eliminate Wolverine, but the young mutants gather and attack him with their combined powers. With no chance of escape, Pierce accepts his tragic end, being eliminated by the same children he abused, under the orders of Dr. Xander. One more enemy has been defeated, but the X-24 clone remains and continues to fight with Laura. Despite the girl's efforts and agility, the mutant proves superior and throws her away. X-24 then changes his target to Logan, only for Richter to enter the battle and use his power to levitate a truck and bring it down on top of the clone. However, Logan knows that this isn't enough to stop him and tells the kids to get out of there. As he feared, X-24 reappears, attacks Logan with his sharp claws and carries him off into the forest. The youngsters run in fear, but Laura decides to stay and picks up Logan's revolver from the ground. The girl then reloads with the adamantium bullet and runs to help her friend. Unfortunately, it's too late and X-24 presses Logan's body against the root of a fallen tree. If that wasn't enough, the clone delivers more blows to make Logan suffer even more. He then prepares to deliver the final blow, but before he can do so, Laura shoots the villain in the head and eliminates him once and for all. Thanks to this, the danger is finally over, but Laura looks sadly at Logan, too wounded to continue. The girl cuts the root of the tree to free him, but the mutant takes advantage of his last moments to ask the girl not to become a weapon, just like they did to him. Finally, Logan says goodbye and perishes in front of the girl, who tearfully calls him dad. Laura says her final goodbye to Wolverine and accompanies her friends to a place where they can finally live in peace. But before she goes, she leaves the crucifix in the position of an X, 
in memory of one of the greatest X-Men who ever lived. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.